Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. So it has been another little while since the last update hasn't it? Um, lots and lots and lots going on uh, with the car. A lot of stuff that you can't really see. Um, so it's been a process of getting everything to come together now. And uh, this video I want to do something different. I want to bring you uh, the interior of the car. Um, pretty dark in here actually but it's uh, good enough for what we need. So what I want to show you is um, some of the stuff that we've done internally. One of the things here is I've got the uh, genuine uh, REMM uh, shift knob in here. Uh, I changed the gator out to the bride. As well as that, I also retrimmed all the interior plastics in the center console to Alcantara. This beautiful sort of faux suede. Very, very nice. Uh, the plastics were cracked and looking aged and a lot of people opt to paint these and stuff or replace them with new. What I did instead was I actually uh, trimmed them in uh, Alcantara so that goes all the way up here uh, round all the switches so we had all the stripped out, all the switches removed and panel removed and completely uh, trimmed in there. Then coming up here we did this sectionally as well because it's two pieces there you go you got a really nice shot there look. Um, absolutely great. We also did the door pocket which of course you can't see. Um, other than that, I've added the Pettit Racing cowl, uh, which normally has a boost gauge in here. I actually used it as a position to put the Innovate Wideband, um, so that displays all my O2 uh, AFR, which is always a good thing. That's going to be oh, on works. Uh, that's extremely important uh, to us. So um, I want to talk primarily about tech, and the first thing I want to talk about is the car stereo. So I mentioned way, way back um, that we were going to put in here a stereo that was Android based, high definition, all that sort of good stuff, and the capabilities it has with the Adaptronic, which is down there. So what I want to do today is I want to talk to you about this system that I sell. They are absolutely phenomenal, very, very good value for money. Uh, the price on these is $3.99. Um, and it comes with reverse camera, GPS navigation, all that usual stuff. But uh, rather than having a dedicated OS, this is Android based uh, and it's fully unlocked. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power on the car. There you, go. you can hear the fuel pump prime like a monster. So down there we've got the USB plate cable plugged in. That plugs into the USB cable at the back of the stereo uh, from the Adaptronic. And here we go, so full on Android. Uh, up here you can see the wideband. That's uh, the heater's currently going in there. Uh, these things do have a heater built into the O2 sensor. Um, interesting fact for anybody running these, um, I've seen some people actually waiting for the heater to finish heating up before they actually start the car. I uh, found out uh, that that actually damages them because of the shock of the cold air and then the hot air again. So if you do run a wideband, it is very, very good practice to just start it. Just start it right up, don't mess around and uh, wait for the heater. Uh, it can actually damage the O2 sensor. But, uh, so down here, um, this is actually, there's a piece of software. I didn't want to get to this right now, but it's jumped straight in. So there is a piece of software uh, called Adaptive Tuner that works with the Adaptronic. Uh, it's a free app, it's completely freeware and does some really, really, really cool stuff. Um, so what we can actually do is we can go to your gauges mode. So in here, if I can get it to focus, it's again got AFR, boost, water temp, uh, intake temperatures, which are always good in an attack. Uh, but as you can see, look, I can play with my throttle and it detects the throttle. So, all the key elements that I want to see are going to be on here rather than having like the bank of gauges up here or down your ray pillar or something like that. I wanted a very clean look in the car and this is the way that I'm going to get that clean look. Um, so if you come down here. Um, so there's a few different things. The adaptive tuner is actually amazing. It's not like Torque app or anything like that. It is actually a lot more open. Um, so one of the really, really nice things we can do into here, we can go in and we can actually monitor different things, your ignition learning, fuel learning, so we can see if there's any uh, retardation on ignition and stuff like that. Um, this gives us a bit more information down here. It's not very easy to see, but one of the key things is 
we do have a knock sensor down here so you can see if you get any kind of knock or knock correction um, water temps and things like that all the usual good stuff uh, attack in there as well but realistically uh, what we're looking at is knocking this it's not something I'm going to be running very often but it's a good way to see if you are getting any knock one of the nice things is if you're traveling and you pick up a bad tank of gas and, and you're starting to have problems you can actually detect it in here and then this is a really really cool feature what you can then do is you can go into your fuel map it'll actually read the map values and you can actually adjust the scaling of your uh, fuel injectors so we can go in here and if you do need if you do find you're running a bit leaner on that particular tank or a bit richer uh, especially if like me you're going to be traveling down into the states this year with the car uh, where you're getting 93 octane versus 91 I mean don't get me wrong it doesn't make up for a tune but this if you are getting massively uh, um, problematic problems with your fuel uh, this is a really convenient way of changing it and again this stereo you can adapt onto it with the mouse and uh, USB keyboard or Bluetooth keyboard whatever you want to do uh, and we can actually play with all this so we can change these values and stuff but generally 99% of the time that's what I'm going to be looking at um, pretty useful tool really um, I always wanted to sort of do this the option was that we could put a, a touchscreen 7 inch tablet in here instead but the problem with that is you still need to run a car stereo if you want your tunes um, so I wanted a unit that was all in one so we'll, we'll go back to the home in here uh, there is no DVD player in this but my goodness why you would ever need one I don't know um, this thing has absolutely every option you could ever wave a stick at for, for integration with your phone or Wi-Fi as you can see up here um, I'm connected to the shop Wi-Fi right now so I can go on the internet surf the internet all that kind of good stuff I can uh, go into apps uh, we can actually go to the App Store as well and Play Store we can download all our apps inside here we've got I don't think you can really see it because it won't focus of course it won't focus so up here we've got Bluetooth audio, uh, you've got an EQ built into it, we've got a GPS test, you've got your Play Store down here, um, you can adjust auxiliaries, you, it's actually got an APK installer which is actually what you need for the adaptive tuner, you need to download that on a USB drive and then install it through here. Uh, Chrome internet browser, uh, go across, we've got different themes, you can set different animations in the background like fish tanks and things like that so you've got fish swimming across your screen when you're doing stuff uh, your radio video I downloaded VLC uh, so any movies or anything like that that you get you can just bang it in there calendar awesome app tune in radio um, this is a free app that allows you to view uh, and listen to I think it's like two million radio stations globally it's something ridiculous like that um, but any sort of streaming or podcasts or anything like that, you can browse it all through there for free. Um, if you're on uh, Wi-Fi, what you can actually do is you can set your phone as a hotspot, connect this, and then wherever you're traveling, you've actually got uh, internet radio wherever you go. Again, no need for a, a DVD uh, or a video uh, CD player in here at all. So moving on, we'll go back home. So I've got some of my favorite apps here. Like I said, the TuneIn, Bluetooth Audio, the Adaptive Tuner. Um, navigation, absolutely fantastic, uh, really really good navigation system in this, um, it's the iGo system which is fully updatable, I absolutely love it. Um, this is all the North America in one map as well which is always a good thing. Now we're inside a steel building right now, they still managed to pick out the uh, shot here, so uh, pretty good, we can only get about 11 satellites above us. And moving on. Uh, add more apps if you want. Um, video is absolutely stunning. So, um, phone, go back to video. And there you go. So, you can play it in a panel view like this. It's full high def 1080p. Uh, we can actually then full screen that. We can actually have this running whilst the adaptive tuner is running as well. So, um, you've got multi zone within the actual stereo as well. Absolutely incredible piece of kit, phenomenal. Come back out of that. So that's what I wanted to talk about there. Um, very, very good bit of kit. Absolutely fantastic if uh, you're not looking to have loads of gauges flying around in your car. And a very modern, stylish look to it as well. Really, really nice. 
So that's it for that. This car also, um, I've connected into here the Viper alarm system, which has uh, integrated with GPS satellite and cellular communication. So now uh, from my watch here, I can actually fully control the car. I can start it, unlock it, um, GPS track it, do the door stuff, monitor uh, things like if anybody's uh, left the door open or something like that, or the hood's unlatched, it'll warn me about that as well. So a uh, nice tool there as well. Like I said, a lot of electronics that's sort of in the background and you don't really get to see. Uh, the last thing you want is somebody stealing your car, which is why I put it in. Uh, but it is nice that it has all the extra features. So. That's it from the internals, um, I'll get back to you soon, we have got to do the presentation on the rest of the car, it's actually 95% of the way there, I'm waiting on a fuel pressure regulator, the one I've got, the thread stripped in the actual adjustment screw, because um, I couldn't dial it out any more than I wanted to, I was getting way too much fuel pressure and it was causing flooding problems, but uh, that should be arriving today, so hopefully I can bring you a video on setting this thing up, tuning and running very very soon, but uh, as always guys, if you've got any questions, feel free to comment, more than happy to uh, answer your questions and uh, hopefully I'll bring you a video of this car running soon. Anyway, take care guys, um, speak to you soon, bye now.